YouTubers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight we're going to take a look at a beer that was sent to us by Lee, aka L. Harlock, aka Hoogly Beer Reviews. This is Saint of Bois. How many names does Lee have? I, well, you've got his channel name, Hoogly, uh -huh. and you've got his username, which is L. Harlock, right. and then his real name that his parents gave him, which is Lee. That's a lot of names. We'll think, whatever. Okay, um, Saint Ambroise Frambois. Uh, this is a raspberry ale, 5% ABV from the microbrewery in Quebec. What was it, an ale? It is an ale, raspberry ale. So they didn't just dump it on their light beer. <laughs> well, this, this one I'm thinking is kind of like a, well, obviously it's an ale brewed with raspberry, so I'm thinking it's kind of, it's not a Frambois like a Frambois Lambic, it's more like a Frambois like raspberry flavored beer. Huh. Um, they don't, I mean, they, I know they don't have any other fruit beers that are similar. So let's crack this one open and take a look. Let's see your glass here. Ooh, jeez, that's red. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Holy cow. I wasn't expecting that. I think they might have used real fruit in this. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a lot of head on Holy it. Holy cow, that's a pink head on it. Look how pink that is. And you actually got quite a bit. It's I got even more. It's pretty. Wow, that looks impressive, Saint Bois. Holy cow! Um, very much looks like that uh, that cripe we had. It's a pretty pony. Pretty. It's like yeah, it's like a My Little Pony of beers. Um, <laughs> There's anything wrong with that? Uh, it's not yeah, too filtered, actually. It's got a it's got a pink head and an almost purple body. Not filtered. It's red reddish purple. It's not filtered. Yeah, it's you can definitely tell that it's hazy in appearance. Interesting. Interesting. This could define my expectations. Mm. Come on, it's Saint Bois. When was the last time you had a bad beer from Saint Bois? All right. Anyway, let's give it a sniff. Ooh. Candied raspberries. Yep, it's pretty Frambois. But it smells like it doesn't smell like an artificial raspberry. It's like almost like fresh raspberries with sugar added. Hmm. It uh you like mean, raspberry you jam or something. Yeah, exactly. You almost pick up that like the tannic quality from the berry. And you get uh I'm not getting a whole lot of beer. No, not a whole lot of beer coming up that. There's a little maybe a little bit of sweetness from the malt, but zero hops, zero anything else other than this nice raspberry jam smell. Yep. But a fresh country market raspberry jam, that's not bad at all. F you smuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you smuckers, you suck! Get that so, shit at the country market, yo. It's actually even surprising amount of wasting, too. Mm. Um, yeah, time to taste it. It's sticky. Yeah, well, look at that. Yeah. It is kind of sticky. All right, down the hatch. Smells lend themselves into the taste quite a bit. Yeah. A nice, gentle raspberry note. Some lingering, like, a almost citrus sweetness, like citrus tartness in the back. I don't know, just something a little bit, a little bit sharp about this that I'm not really digging. It's almost got like a little bit of an earthy bitterness that must come from the hops. I don't know, there's just something creeping into the taste that kind of kind of doesn't do it for me. I don't know. It's either like a little bit of a malty sweetness, it's uh, the, the, the tannic quality from the berry. Um, there's also the, uh, the earthiness from the hops that they used. Maybe I didn't get enough of the goose off my palate. Well, we can take a break with this one if you want to wash them out. Yeah, let's go uh, try something salty and give it another shot. Mm. But as for as for this, there's not a whole lot of sweetness. It's just got a, like a nice, almost dry finish to it. There's like a little bit of lingering wetness in the back. Um, it's nice. It actually comes across as being somewhat, you know, like medium to light. Yeah, it's a pretty light body. Very light body. It's not bad. You know, I kind of like it. But there's almost something, you're right, there is some kind of a weird lingering, like almost like a metallicness to it. Yeah, there's just something that's sticking in my palate. I can't mm -hmm. quite put my finger on it, and I, and it doesn't ruin it, but it just tweaks it a little bit. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. Anyway, you want to uh, stop for a bit and then take a break? Yeah, maybe we'll just uh, we'll eat some chips and then see how this is on the second go. Sure. All right, we'll be right back. And we're 
back with Stainer Bros from Wah. The uh, raspberry ale sent to us by Lee, otherwise known as L. Harlan. Thank you, Lee, for sending this particular bottle to us. Um, what did you think? About, what did you think of the beer? First of all, looks good, smells good, tastes just doesn't deliver it for me. Mm. Um, I find that the raspberry flavor is not strong enough in the taste, and the beer that's backing it up is a whole hand at best. Mm. It's not great, but it's not incredible. I mean, I do get maybe a little bit more of that fruity raspberry flavor than you do, but at the same time, there's hardly any beer flavors to back it up, and there's also not really much to say to about it. It's more cooler than it is beer. Yeah, in I mean, a certain sense. In a, in a certain sense, if you're gonna have the the fruit flavor be the flavor and be like if you're gonna showcase the fruit flavor, you have to make that flavor really strong and have it dominate. Mm. And, and if the beer is just a, a, a vector for the fruit flavor, that's fine, but you have to really deliver on the fruit flavor. And if you're going to have the fruit flavor be like, just sort of like a little spice or a bit of an addition to a beer, then you have to have the beer really be a full beer on its own and then have the fruit flavor add to it, like with the smashed blueberry from, mm. from Shipyard. And this really? doesn't really do either. It's more raspberry than anything else. But it's not enough raspberry, in my mm, opinion. It's but I could be wrong. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't mind it, but it's it's not what I'm going to consider it uh, a, a great, incredible beer. I think I'm going to give this up. I'm going to go with high three, uh, a high three point zero and five, like one, like three point two five. What do you think? Eh, it's passable. Like I don't hate it, but mm. I wanted to love it and I didn't. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a high two and a half. High two and a half? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I, I cited it a little bit better than yours because, I mean, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't lie where you get that raspberry flavor, but it's not like what we consider a pleasing raspberry flavor. It's kind of this strange, weird, sweet raspberry jam taste where you get this, and there's hardly any beer to it. Yeah. I mean, between the look and the smell, I had, I had some, and, and with the, the name of it, mm. like, you know, San Bois, I, I San Bois, yeah. They, they do great work. So Coslin's a, a great brewery. Right up until the taste, I had nothing but high hopes, and then it just it, it fell flat. It fell flat. But then again, I've, I've come to expect that from from a lot of fruit beers, really. That's fair. I mean, I didn't really care too much for their their apricot weed either. So that's true. And I I had low expectations of of the uh, shipyard blueberry. And where the shipyard day. blueberry blew our minds. So. That just, was, you just can't tell with the fruit. You never know. You never um, know. Like like the FMRAs from from Unibrew were really incredible. Even those though. were those were solid efforts. Yeah. This one, not as not good. so much. No. No. Anyway, uh, high three point zero for me. Uh, Two point seven five from uh, Ice Little Mighty here. Well, thank you, for Lee, for sending us this particular bottle of Saint Bois Frambois. We'll talk to you guys later. Cheers. Cheers. Bra.